Hello, welcome to Black Star TV 2.0. It's your boy Black Star. I got a powerful um, presentation for you guys today. Uh, we're going to talk about Joe Biden and his first uh, interview um, press conference, well, um, where he addressed the black community. And we're going to get into Jim Crow Joe and how he's a detriment to the black community. I just want to start off by uh, playing this uh, YouTube. But before I do that, um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel. Um, definitely hit the like button. That allows uh, other people to see it more often, where we can get more views and get this um, information out to the people. So let's get started, man. Let's get started. So I'm going to play this uh, video, and this is um, someone asking them at a press conference of... Um, why he hasn't really been doing nothing for the black community. And I just want you to hear his response and we're gonna break it down as he, as he talks. Mr. President, but I wanna ask you about black voters, one of your most loyal constituencies. Yep. I was in Congressman Clyburn's district yesterday in South Carolina. You opened this news conference talking about him. I spoke to a number of black voters who fought to get you elected and now they feel as though you are not fighting hard enough for them and their priorities and they told me they see this push on voting rights more as a last minute pr push than it is a legitimate effort to get legislation passed so what do you say to these black voters who say that you do not have their backs as you promised on the campaign trail i've had their back i've had their back my entire career i've never not had their back and I started on the voting rights issues long, long ago. That's what got me involved in politics in the first place. And uh, I think part of the problem is, uh, um, look, there's, there's significant disagreement in every community on whether or not the timing of assertions made by people has been in the most timely way. So I'm sure that there are those who are saying that why didn't Biden push John Lewis bill as hard as he pushed it the last month. Why didn't he push it six months ago as hard as he did now? Um, uh, the fact is that there is, um, there's a, this nigga just making shit up off the fly. He don't even know what to say. He know he's so full of shit, but let's continue. I mean, that is not, of one's own choice is sort of dictated by events that are happening in country and around the world as to what the focus is. But part of the problem is as well, I have not been out in the community nearly enough. I've been here an awful lot. I find myself in a situation where uh, um, I don't get a chance to look people in the eye because of both COVID and things that are happening in Washington. So now he said he don't get to look people in the eye because of things like COVID. Now, when it came to signing that Asian hate bill, watch this. President Biden signs COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act. You can get in the eyes of these, of these Asian people. COVID didn't stop you from that. See what I'm saying? This is all a finesse game. You could, see, you could tell he was lying as soon as he was asked a question. He started thinking of what he's trying to just think off off the fly of what to say. That's what I'm saying. These people literally do stuff for other groups while they sit back and do absolutely nothing for the black community and drag their feet whenever it's time. First of all, that whole um, John Lewis voting bill, that's really for illegal immigrants to be able to vote. That's why they're talking about this whole ID thing. Black people always had IDs. I don't, I don't know if it's um, of course, there's always going to be a couple of few people without an ID, but trust me, bro, when black people want to get in that club, they got an ID. Like, come on, let's knock it off. If, if, if it's something that you need an ID when it's come time for them for them checks to get cashed, a black person going to find an ID. Let's be for real. Like, because that's what they that's what they claim in this voting bill is about and how they're. Uh, the ID is in the way of black people being able to get to uh, get their vote. Uh, um, the, the ballots in or whatever, like, come on, man, knock this off.
but y'all really do this stuff so you don't have to do anything for the black community and you're just making up stuff talking about covid matter of fact right here despite afghanistan withdrawal biden seeks to spend 3.6 billion more uh reconstructing this year like come on fam like you right here with a mask on signing trying to sign the afghan who are coming over to the united states you trying to you trying to um give them all this money but you're doing it while COVID's going on but right here you literally literally just said you haven't been in the community enough with the black people because of COVID. like so you basically blamed your um your situation on COVID. but let me let, let me uh digress and let him finish to be able to go out and do the things that i've always been able to do for pretty well connect with people let them take a measure of my sincerity let them take a measure of who i am for example i mean as i pointed out in south carolina um you know last time when i was chairman of the judiciary committee i got the voting rights act extended for 25 years and i got strong thurman to vote for it that's what i've been doing my whole career and so the idea that i that that I didn't either anticipate or because I didn't speak to it as fervently as they want me to earlier. In the meantime, I was spending a lot of time, spent hours and hours and hours talking with my colleagues on the Democratic side, trying to get them to agree that if in fact this occurred, if this push continued, that they would be there for John Lewis and anyway. So, um, but I think that's that's a problem that is my own making by not communicating as much as I should have. Yet you find that uh, when you deal with members of the Black Caucus and others in the, in the United States Congress, I still have very close working relationships. So, it's see, I'm glad he said that. The National Black Caucus and people in Congress. He's talking about the Black people in Congress and the National Black Caucus who are coons. These people literally undermine the black community for the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, whoever you want to, whoever they want to undermine us for. Like they, matter of fact, I'm going to actually show you something on my Facebook that I posted about the um, National Black Caucus and all the other caucuses and their agendas. Now, this is how you're going to, this is how you can see that the National Black Caucus uses other communities to undermine the black community it, it might it seems like crazy to even say but watch what watch what i show you but even before i show you that let's just go to the legal definition of minority the legal definition of minority is the state or condition of a minor infancy so we already know a minor the state or condition of a minor is someone who needs guidance from a um, like parental guidance. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Like the state or condition of a minor infancy, that is the legal definition of minority. The term minority means how does the government define minority? They define it as American Indian, Alaska Native, Black, Hispanic, including persons Mexican, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Central or South American origin, Pacific Islands or other ethnic groups underrepresented in science and engineering. So listen, minority included everybody because it don't mean the least. It's they not using this definition as minority over majority. They not using it in that way. It's used as the state or condition of a minor. So everybody that's not white has to is in the state or condition of a minor infancy, which means you need them to guide you and to um you know carry out carry out their agenda. But let me go to this real quick. Cause he spoke on having the people of the black caucus in his um corner and all this other weirdness. So um this is the black congressional black caucus, this is their agenda. And I'm going to read everybody else's agenda, too. So watch this. And look how there everybody else's differ from the Congressional Black Caucus. So correct, con Congressional Black Caucus 
CDC has been committed to using the full constitutional power, statutory authority, and financial resources of the federal government to ensure that African Americans and other marginalized communities in the United States have the opportunity to achieve the American dream. Now, again, it says the financial resources of the federal government to ensure African Americans and other marginalized communities. So you're putting in other people's um, other people with our issues, so they get our financial resources. Do you get what I'm saying? So watch this. Now let's see if any other um, caucus um, talks about us, because we we trying to help everybody. This is why he says African Americans and other marginalized communities in the United States have the opportunity to achieve the American dream. See, we so worried about everybody else. And this is why I say, because then when these funds go out, these federal, these financial resources go out to marginalized communities, the black community actually gets less than everybody else. This is a statistical fact. So the Congressional Black Caucus, that's why I said they are used to undermine the black community. Now, we got the Asian, Pacific American Caucus, right? Now, the Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders reflects the concerns and needs of Asian American and Pacific Island community. Don't say shit about everybody else or marginalized communities to ensure that the legislation passed by the United States Congress to the greatest extent possible provides the full participation of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders and reflects the concerns and needs of the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. Nothing about um, marginalized communities or minorities and uh, Indians and Hispanics, they ain't talking about nobody but themselves. Again, so now the Congressional Hispanic Caucus the CHC addresses national and international issues and crafts policies that impact Hispanic communities. The caucus is dedicated to voicing and advancing through the legislative process issues affecting Hispanics in the United States, Puerto Rico, and the Commonwealth of the Northern uh, Marina Islands. Come on, man. Nothing about anybody else but Hispanics, nothing. They ain't talking about Asians. They ain't talking about blacks. They're not talking about marginalized communities. They're not talking about minorities. They are strictly here to represent themselves. Now, this is the um, Native American caucus. The effectiveness of the caucus and the strength of individual Native American legislators increase the ability of the state legislatures to to more appropriately address tribal issues and develop public policy in cooperation with tribal governments. Now, down here, provides a forum for discussion among Native American legislators, work to increase awareness of diversity of Native American culture, supports the state tribal communications to encourage open dialogue, understanding and cooperation, to provide research, training, and educational services to American Indians, Native Alaskans, and Native Hawaiian legislators. Nothing, again, about marginalized communities. Nothing. Nothing about marginalized communities, nothing about uh, minorities, nothing about Hispanics, nothing about Asians. Like, everybody is strictly going for self except for the National Black Caucus. This is why he has such a tight um, 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 history with the National Black Caucus. And he can name, oh, Thurman, Thurman Marshall and all these Thurman, whatever his name was. He named all these people who are coons who literally work for the government to undermine the black, the black community trying to tell you, bro, this is this is, is, is finesse game 101. And Joe Biden, this is why he up here stuttering and talking all this. Uh, he, just, he just don't even know what to say. You can tell he just straight making this up on the fly. He ain't know what to say because he didn't do anything 
for African Americans since he'd been in. And we are the ones who voted him in. This is why they're trying to get this um this uh voting act passed so illegals can now vote because again when you once you start get because there's a lot of illegals here so once you start getting them to vote they're trying to undermine our vote because they know our vote is what seals the deal for any party to 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 um get into office so now they have to try to find a way to so we aren't our vote isn't so important that's why i said when you look up this voting um this voting bill that he's trying to pass or whatever is really talking about ids and all this like black people don't have ids like we always had ids fam like that's that's a bullshit argument that's like that's like a crazy argument to even try to use for this situation but let me finish let me digress and let him finish it's like every community i'm sure that there are those in the community and I'm a, I'm a big labor guy. I'm sure there's people in labor saying, why haven't I been able to do A, B, C, or D? So it's just going to take a little bit of time. You're, you put Vice President Harris in charge of voting rights. Are you satisfied with her work on this issue? And can you guarantee, do you commit that she will be your running mate in 2024, provided that you run again? Yes and yes. But see, this is the thing, man. Joe Biden been signing bills since he been in here. Like he been signing bills for um what the Asian Asian hate bill. He been signing bills for LGBTQ hate bills. Like you've been signing all these bills for people and using this executive order, but as soon as it comes for black folks, you can't do anything. You've been giving out money to people. Y'all been printing money like crazy, which is why um the stock market is like dunking right now because of all this inflation but um yeah man you can't never give us no tangibles everything you want to do you you got the quarter you got maya angelo on a quarter making it seem like oh this is some some historic moment for black people like i mean it is and i don't nobody want to take nothing away from maya angelo you know but you but that's that doesn't do nothing for the community as a whole it does something for her you feel me it, it boosts her self-esteem and and a legacy for her family, but that shit not a legacy for me, fam. Her being on the court, that shit does nothing for me and my family. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say they do things to like, oh, you, we passing the voting bill for black people. Like, bro, you, we just voted you in. Like, we just voted you in. Like, it, it, nothing nothing was going on with the votes and the voting rights and all that goofy shit when, when your ass got voted in and black people was the reason you got in. Now all of a sudden you want to say something about voting rights to to make it seem like you're doing something for us, dog. You're not doing shit for us. Let's be for real. We want reparations and tangibles. That's it. You ain't talking reparation talk. We don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? But let me uh let me get off this. I ain't want to be on here long, but I definitely just wanted to show y'all that you know Joe Biden, Jim Crow Joe, who said he's doing stuff for the black community for 25 years. You did shit, but you fucked it up. You feel me? You had the the um the crime bill you signed in '94. Well, you the Bill Clinton signed that you wrote up. You feel me? Like you you signed that uh the bill to make sure um 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 the student loans can't get erased when somebody filed bankruptcy. That's why student loans just stay on you forever until you just pay it off. And this is why a lot of the black community is in debt, can't get houses because they don't went to school got all these student loans piled up and can't even get the job to, you know, get the student loan, work the student loan down. And if you do, you, it's taking you 15, 20 years. Come on, man. This is crazy, man. Y'all got us locked and blocked out of, of the society, of the economics in society. You feel me? Because you r running and controlling every industry. We need reparations to fix our issues in the black community. That's the only thing that's gonna fix our issues is reparations. You think these bills are gonna pass? Like, unless the bills is being passed to give us money, the bills are being passed to give us reparations. Other than that, any bill you sign is never gonna help the black community. Y'all put us in these project buildings that we don't own. Y'all put us in these housing. We don't own none of that. You feel what I'm saying? We have the highest unemployment rate we have the, you know, the highest dropping out of school rate because we don't own our own schools. You feel what I'm saying? And 
We don't own any homes, but all this can get fixed with money, with you giving us money, not you taking the money and you doing with it and you trying to do stuff for us with it. You need to give us our money so we can build our own communities, our own schools, our own grocery stores, our own banks, everything. Feel what I'm saying? Look, people, uh, please um, like, subscribe and share to this channel. Um, just make sure you do that. Uh, um, you know, follow me on IG at Ichaw. Um, I'm on Facebook at Black Star Ichaw. Donate to um, Cash App, you know, dollar sign Black Star 0312. And um, I'm going to see y'all in another episode. Peace.